And we're back. All right, so this is how it's going to go. I will go for as long as this stream lasts me. And then if it crashes again, then I'm just going to go and record the Josh Jackson video. And I'm going to go to sleep. But we'll, we'll keep going as long as the computer wants me to go. Cowboys finally picking up their, uh, their wide receiver, Michael Gallup. I saw him going potentially in the fourth. But they got their wide receiver. They need one. What's going on, Evan? Good to see you. Sam's here. What's going on? This is good. This is good. Dylan's back. We're getting all the peeps back. Dylan, you happy about your Broncos? What pick do the Packers have next? Uh, 101, I want to say off the top of my head. Yep, 101. First pick of the fourth round. Tom cut the Wi-Fi. Yeah, you can thank Tom for that. Good. Yeah, I know. Hubbard, I was like, yay! And then the stream went out, and I was like, uh... I was happy to see Hubbard's name, but not happy to see him not going under the Packers. Lions are picking next. Bro, I love your channel and all your videos. Thanks, Sam. Appreciate that. Uh, what From James, what pass rushers do you think are available? Only perceives need... I can see on defense minus maybe inside linebacker death. Yeah, I could see outside linebacker edge rusher. Um, I think we definitely need a bunch of those, but again, the linebackers I mentioned before, uh, Oren Burks, Micah Kaiser, Akeem Coleman's a late pick. And one of those guys I think we got would be pretty good, but yeah, we need, we need somebody to help strengthen get to the quarterback. What's the discord going to be used for? I mean, I didn't set it up, but uh, I, th I think just kind of like for just Packers chat. Uh, I'm, I'm cool with it. Like this, uh, we got a good community going here. And, you know, so if you guys ever had like any questions or anything like that, or some news breaks and, you know, before I get a video out, I figure we can use that pass rusher or linebacker. I think will be Sam for the next, the next position. I am now a subscriber. Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. Geico, what are you talking about, bud? Stop ignoring you. I don't even know you asked a question. Oh, no worries, James. I'm on Discord. You've got to do a rank system to encourage people to spend time in it. Oh, a bot. Gavin, get on that. <laughs> It's just me, the Lions, lovable underdog. Yeah, I don't hate the Lions. I, I kind of feel a little bit bad for them, to be honest. I have not forgotten about Beagle. James has been a subscriber for months. Good deal. I was saying thanks to Jesse for subscribing. Yep, Fackrell. Yep, yep, yep. I want to see more out of Beagle. I know he's got a bunch of expectations for him. Trade Hunley, but who, who are we going to trade him for? Uh, nobody wants him. I don't think there is a team out there that is desperate enough that they want Brett Hunley as their backup. Oliver, you trash. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Splash, I'm very happy about that Josh Jackson pick. I'm pumped about it, man. If the Packers had a mascot, what would it be? I think like a huge the embodiment of cheese. Christian Grassi. What's good, Tom? It's your brother. I had no idea, Christian, that it was my brother, considering your name is Christian Grassi, who is the name of my brother. Christian Grassi, everybody, my brother. <laughs> who I'm pretty sure is home. Not like in my house, but in the area. Callahan. I like Callahan. I want to see him do well. <laughs> but then again, Brett Hundley looked amazing in preseason. Look how that worked out. And again, I know he, 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 he made us win some games, but Westchester, New York, that's where we live. Trade Hundley for like a fifth round. I'm down for it. I just don't know if anyone's going to do it though. That's the problem. Again, if we didn't see Hundley play and we just went off with his preseason, then I think we have, he's good trade bait. 
but last year I he proved that he was not an NFL ready quarterback. And McCarthy even came out and said that make a seventh, maybe a seventh, maybe we trade into the third round. Who are we going to go with? I got to take a look on who's left on the board, to be honest for uh, again, any linebacker or, or defensive end. I'd be happy with outside inside or D I think we get five footballs for Brett. I think that's asking a little high. Don't you think Jeffrey? I think that's a little too much. So Christian, you, you came in and said hi, and then you left. I see, uh, Michael Gallup, yeah. They're bashing him a little bit, but would Packers risk taking him? Griffin? They could. If he's still there in the fourth, they might go with him. Do you think Hunley would be good? Well, I mean, we watched him last year, and he wasn't. Did I think he was going to be good? Yes. But he, I was wrong. <laughs> And a lot to be okay. Three footballs. Okay. Now we're starting to get there, but like Tom Brady gets his hands on him first. Arden key has some off field, the issues. I don't think, I think the Packers are going to avoid him because of that, because they usually send to sh stray away from anybody who would make the team not look great. Any bad press. The Packers are usually uh, against Ravens are up. Which Packer that you have met is your, you're delivering right now. That sucks. Sorry. Make a vegan pizza. Bring it to me. I'm hungry. Uh, which Packer have you met is your favorite by far? Devontae Adams was actually a really, really nice guy. I liked him a lot. I would say Devontae probably. Because a couple years ago, like when he was struggling, like he was still like super humble. He was a really nice guy. As a Steelers fan, can you give me some knowledge on Burnett? Is he better in free safety or... Uh, definitely better in free safety. He's a veteran. I don't think he's going to be a game changer, but he's a great locker room influence. I think he's got at least another year or two left on him to, to deliver for your team. Uh, I know we're going to miss him, but he brings that veteran preference. Key's great value. Yeah. But again, the offseason field issues, the Packers never go for those guys. They never do. I do like Burnett, even though he, Subbed me. Okay, TA, what's going on, man? Thanks for the stream. Thanks for watching. I appreciate that. What round did the Green Bay Packers draft Devontae Adams? Off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure it's round two. I'm going to double check, but I'm like 99% sure that it was round two. He has a 53rd pick. Yep, round two. Who would we get if we trade into the third? Uh, let me see real quick. Um, again. Because we do need them. I want to bring this for a get picked i don't think he did right they wouldn't see that i don't maurice pursed tommy you good with big problems or like a vikings background or something <laughs> uh packers trading Cobb. uh i don't know streams lagging again oh no Sorry. I wouldn't mind getting Hurst. We do need O-line depth. I agree. I don't think we'll trade Cobb, um, but we might just not renew his contract. Doing with the stream. We all right? Yeah, Morgan Burr. Arden Key, DBZ man. It's rough. I just don't, I don't know. Watching your channel for a while. Keep doing you. Thanks for watching. Do I have Frontier? No. I got Fios. I recently switched over to it. It's okay. We do need an inside linebacker. I agree. PC has a startup loop and goes into a black screen. All I can access is BIOS and can't even go to automatic repair. Tom, if I need help, if you're good. Oh, 
Yeah, I can't help you with that, bud. You start try starting it in safe mode, hey, buddy. I wish I had answers for you. I do not, and I know that's not helpful in any way, shape, or form. Um, how did I get my channel big? If we're constituting this as big, um, it's consistency. The first year, I didn't do anything on YouTube. I did it all on SoundCloud. I only got about five thousand views the entire season. Second, I the second year I started doing it. I split some time with YouTube. And I just every week I did like the the after game reviews, and then I've just been doing everything on YouTube now. It's just doing it all the time. It's just consistency. You have to put out good content, and you have to uh, just do it consistently, and and it'll grow. That's it. I said there's no, there's no real secret. People have asked me like you know like how do you get what's like how do you get success or how do you get anything like that. You just have to find something you're good at, something you enjoy, something that you won't stop, and uh, just keep on doing it. That's it. <laughs> Love it. Also, be entertaining. Yeah, that helps. Yeah, I'm upset. I was a little upset. I'm still a little upset about that. Time to check forum posts. Yep. <laughs> Vikings NFC Championship reaction helped. Yeah, that was a big one. The Game of Thrones one did too. That could be on Good Morning America. The original Packers reaction video I did. It definitely helps. Yeah, I like the way our secondary looks right now. We are definitely moving on up in the world. Right now, it doesn't look like we're trading up. I'm actually a little surprised. I thought we would be a little bit more aggressive. George, you going to sleep? Good night, bud. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Seem a little tired, my man. I am exhausted. Last night, I didn't go to bed till three, I want to say. Because after I was done doing the streams, I uh, I recorded two videos, rendered, edited and rendered one of them. And then I woke up with the crack of dawn to render, uh, edit and render another one, post that, and then went to the movies. Never had a YouTuber answer. Who am I most excited to see this year as a rookie? Actually, I'm really excited to see Josh Jackson. Now that we got him, I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm really excited about him. Yeah, man. I, I try to answer as many questions as I can. Why not? Yeah, trade up. I'm sleepy. Damn straight. How do you write jokes? Everyone does it differently. I don't do stuff that's currently going on. I make it more about my life because uh, it's where I get the most material from and it'll never get old. Watching Infinity War, watched it today. I loved it. Infinity War was great. Your Acer Aspire died. R.I.P. R.I.P. I thought Infinity War was great. Great, 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 great. Yep. Over in the Midwest. You guys got back in time here. Luke, you are, you're my man. 314. What a trooper. This is my second favorite color. I like blue. I'm a big blue fan. Oh. How often do you do football with your students? Actually, not a lot. A lot of them don't watch football. So there's like some students that I talk about it with, but sitting down for dinner. I haven't even eaten dinner yet. I literally sat down for this thing at seven o'clock and was like, all right, let's keep going. Vince Beagle. He's developing. He also got injured a bit. I think. Ever heard of, uh, Gattis Candace. He does a comedy routine on Britain's got talent. I don't know the name. Might know the face though. Do I think Alexander should start? Yeah. When you pick somebody in the first round, I think you're expecting that they're they're starting. Your students are plebs for not watching football. You know, what are you going to do? <laughs> Birmingham, England. There you go. Any family members that are Vikings fans? No. Thank God, no. Oh, Milkman's back. <laughs> Pretty much. I do believe in Kevin King next year. I think he's going to do some great, great things. Nope. Wife's not a Vikings fan. Packers traded up. 
I called it. I told you. I told you they were going into the third round. Now it's by now fourth and a fifth. That's the guess. Oh, I had faith too. There was a part of me that was like, oh, you know what? Maybe they won't. I should go to sleep. Nope. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. Oh, wait, am I back? I think, uh, I think I went away for a second. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I was like, no. Let's see. I'm curious of who we're going to go with. This is my Toyota Highlander. I love it. And that keeping my family safe at no expense to cost thanks to Toyota Safety Tech. Similar features will cost more than $13,000 in vehicles in the future. I know a lot of you think they were getting key, but I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea who we would go with right now. Chickly pickles, good God. You think we I maybe we'll go receiver here? Maybe we'll go offensive line. Hubbard's gone. I wish Hubbard was still there, Austin. He's not, though. We might go with Griffin. We might. I'm very happy with who we picked up so far. Go <laughs> punter. We're just like, eh, we need a new one. Our punter is jacked, by the way. Do I like jiggly pickles? I like uh, like honey mustard pickles. I like spicy pickles. Let's do it. Packers get the Panthers 101 and 147. We didn't have 140. Oh, yeah, we did the fifth round. That's the one we got yesterday. So we gave him the top of the fourth, and we gave... Um, one of our fifth. Oh man, we only have three fifth round picks left. Yeah, the Raiders. So we got that yesterday. I don't know anything about Burlington, Wisconsin. Oh, Raiders got key. There you go. That answers that question. Yeah, we did trade up to the third round. We're in the next pick, number 88. On the clock, baby. Let's do it. We might get Griffin. We might. All right. Here we go. Look, listen, Packer fans, like this is Oren Burks. I have him, but I have him for later. I had him going in the fifth, potentially the fourth. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Key with weed issues going to Cali. Fit right in. We traded up. We traded a first pick of the fourth and the fifth round pick we got yesterday. So 101 and 147. Please don't get Griffin. <laughs> Josh Jennings, does that confirm that we're getting Oren Burks? Because I had him going at 138. Outside linebacker. Pick is in. I love how aggressive they're being right now. This is great. I love this. Okay. 
We drafted Roger Goodell. <laughs> Wait, we trade away the first. Yeah, we trade away the first pick in the fourth round and the fifth. Yeah, baby, 13 times. Yep, Oren Burks. There you go, Josh. You were right. I got a pick right, guys. I did it. That was on my uh, that seven round mock draft. I mean, I had him in round five, but outside linebacker from Vanderbilt. Warren Burks. We got our outside linebacker. Just to give you the quick on him, real quick. Uh, ran a four five nine, eighty two tackles last season, and one interception. Yeah, he did have a pre-draft visit. Yeah, I'm a little... I'm, I don't know why we went so early with him. Because uh, I think he would have still been there in the fourth. I'm a little, uh, a little confused about that. Hmm. So he's like a hybrid guy. He might be able to move back and forth. Huh. All right. Will the Vikings get Griffin? They might. They might go for him. Draft is at noon tomorrow. Who is he? Hold on one second. I heard the Rams going. Oh, okay. Um, He's an outside linebacker. Again, had like over 80 tackles, uh, decently fast, 40 time, had a pick last year. I had him drafted. He's He is a big guy. He's 6'3". Um, I had him going in the fifth. I thought he would still be there. Uh, but again, he filled the need and I had him. What's up, King Gucci? What's going on, bud? Of course. So I, Again, this is uh, this is good. This is very, very good. What do we trade to get him? We to move into the third. We traded our first pick of the fourth round, one hundred and one, uh, and the fifth round pick we got yesterday, uh, one forty-seven. So right now, just an update on the Packers picks. We got this, this. So we got one fourth round, three fifth round, one sixth round, three seventh round. So we still got seven picks left. Should we get a we we we'll get a receiver? I think. Is he good? I mean, I had him drafted him. I'm happy with it. I'm pretty happy about it. Gucci, what you missed is we traded up into the third round, got Oren Burks. I had him picking down in the fifth, but yeah, we'll see. We'll definitely see. Yeah, I think he could have gone fourth or fifth. I think he still would have been there. I think we need more picks. <laughs> I think we're okay with picks. Those fifth round picks, I'm I'm hoping we'll we'll go off a whole bunch of defense. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we get some uh, offensive depth too. We also we need some edge rusher. Career sacks. I didn't even see that. He's an outside linebacker, so eight two tackles. Let's see. Let's do a quick look. Oh, well, I'll wind up doing this later. We're making two videos tonight. Uh, let's see. I mean, four, five, nine. It's not bad. Started seven, eight games, 37 tackles, breaking up a safety. Uh, as a junior, started 10 to 13 games, 59 stops, six and a half or lost, three and a half sacks, an interception, six pass breakups. As a senior, 82, seven tackles for a loss, one interception, three pass breakups. Okay. Yeah, even NFL had him drafting four to five. Yeah, I think it's a bit of a reach. I think it's a little bit of a reach, guys. Listen, we wanted to get him, so we got him. Yeah.
Oh, the Steelers just traded up. Oh, that's that's what they're talking about. Yeah, again, when it comes to Burks, uh, yeah, I think it's a little bit of a reach. I mean, I think the reason the Packers like him, though, is he's a hybrid player. But considering he's like brand new at the position, I think we'll be okay. But Packers love picking that hybrid guy. Like, look, guys like Micah Hyde, for example. Yeah, we'll see about that. Yeah, I'm I'm hyped about Josh Jackson too. Yeah, and Josh Jones is the same too. Exactly. He's got good measurables. Again, I just think he would have been there in the fourth. I guess the Packers just didn't want to risk that. I think we could have gotten him with pick one one. I definitely think we could have. Tom, do you think I'm the one who's been watching the streams the longest? Might have been. You, you've been here a while, Milk. You can't run, but you can't hide. Any position do you think the pack? I think I, I want to. The ones that we haven't gotten yet, I think that. Uh, yeah, please, not another Randall. I, I think we do need a pass rusher, though. Um, and what I mean by that is, like, I want I want a good defensive end. The outside linebacker, you know, we got a guy who's like kind of in and out of it, but I want like a dedicated, this is my job. This is what I'm going to be doing. So we'll see. Arden Key's gone. Pidgey Raji on the board yet. RIP. <laughs> no, I'm not worried. That, uh, he's definitely a speed guy. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that this guy, he's going to, it's going to take some time for him to get into the position, which is why I had him down so far between four and five. But I, I just don't, it's when you're drafting in the third round, I think you're still talking about guys that could start, you know, almost day one. So, oh, you think he's going to be an edge guy? All right. Yeah, I'm happy with what Goot's doing so far. Are you guys happy with that? Yeah, they have confidence in Matthews, but again, I don't see him being on the team much longer. Yeah, I'm happy with our picks. I definitely am. <laughs> what do I give the draft so far? Right now, like the two pick, first two picks, I had an A. This one, I would give like a B or a B plus, just because I think he was a reach. I know we didn't get our uh, our Pro Bowl wide receiver. It happens. What's up, Milkman? You know the sideline to sideline guys. I agree. Yeah, so an A minus average. Yeah, I, again, I'm very happy with this because you also think we also got a first round next year. Milkman, I'm, I'm you're, you're copy pasta right now. I don't know. I don't know what you want for my life. <laughs> we can still get Griffin. I agree. You think tight end next year? Again, I wouldn't mind it if we got a, like a blocker. Kendricks, I don't think is going to be able to. Uh, he's not a long term solution, but we might be able to wait. <sighs> I look stressed. Oh, I'm stressed. I'm just freaking tired, man. Steelers pick is in. So there are nine picks left. Let's just keep on going, baby. Juan, again, for uh, Burke, I had him going later. He's a fast guy. A little bit of a hybrid. I, I think, you know, he'll get the job done. We needed an outside linebacker. We should just get a huge tight end. Yeah, literally just throw him up there. We have to trade up. We traded the first pick in the fourth round and then a fifth. Pick. I think Burks would have been there. Yep, I'm going to start our live stream at noon tomorrow. Yes, yes, yes. Again, I'm happy because he fulfills a need. Yeah, what Danny is saying too. Again, he's he was all over the field. I'm happy with this. 
Josh J and Alexander playing together. I'm happy with that. Hubbard's gone, I think. Fumagalli, yeah, we could get him. Milkman, hello. Just got back. Has anything happened? Yeah, we we picked somebody. <laughs> we got Oren Burks, our outside linebacker. Had him in the fifth. <laughs> Should we name Meaty? Hybrid player, plays all over the field. Fast guy, love him. But again, maybe not for uh, the third round. Yep, I'll be streaming tomorrow. Yeah, he's an outside linebacker. Should you donate, Milkman? That's on you. I'll, I'm never going to force you to do that. Talking to my friend right now about the old the Avengers movie. But, all right. Right now, I, I, I like the aggressiveness. Oh, thanks, James. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, Hubbard's gone. Why we get rid of Richard Rogers, Tom? Huh. <laughs> Video. Um, besides that Hail Mary, he didn't have the he had like okay hands. Wasn't the greatest, wasn't the worst. But at the same time, the guy was slow as hell, couldn't really run routes, and the blocking really wasn't that great either, to be completely honest. Yeah, Allison might have a might have a good year. I had Oren Burks as a fifth round. Yeah. I think we definitely did. Please donate to Tom Grassi. I, I want him to do this full time. <laughs> Amen, man. You and me. That'd be great. Yeah. You want to eat a thousand flipping vegetables? Yes, milkman. I do. Yeah, we did trade up. Yep. Tom, feel your pain. My wife's a teacher and brings home so much work. I can't even walk in the living room. Yep. Me and the wife are a teacher. So it's just two teachers. <laughs> Oh man, what'd you miss? I like to, I actually like teaching a lot. I do. It's just doing this and this is just a lot. Teach social studies, ninth and 10th grade. Let's see if they pick Griffin. We should get paid more. I agree. This guy's like dragging this pick out right now. No. Nope. Cora four. He's a tackle. I don't think we need to trade up in the fourth. I think we're okay. Tom, shout in the Discord milkman for president. <laughs> I do have Snapchat. Yep, I do. I think it's Tom Grossy Comedy. I don't use it that much, though, so just letting you know. Just letting you know. Yeah, we traded 101 and 147, just like they said. Oh, man. Oh, sorry. Yeah, um, we just started a Discord. Gavin did. I'm going to put the link. The, I think I might still have the link in my copy paste. Yeah, there's the link. There's a link for Discord. I'll post it in the video, too. Um, who would your franchise QB be out of these two? Warren Moon or John Elway? Probably Warren Moon. I like John Elway a lot, but I can't get over the fact that he beat us in Super Bowl 32. Hey, who said they were watching more than me? I've been on both days, even the 12 different times last night. Dizzle McNizzle calling Milkman out. And this is when the Civil War begins. Jags pick is in. Yes, the Vikings are on the clock. Stream during training camp. I might be a training camp. I usually do. Night, James. Have a good one, bud. We'll see you tomorrow. Tizzle McNizzle. Happy with the picks for the Packers. Orange Burks. Uh, I think we 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 reached it a little bit, but you know it is what it is. Vikings don't deserve nice things. You'll wait for the Vikes, James. I just I want the Vikes just to trade out, just so it's a waste of time. <laughs> wait, Civil War like the Avengers of the Walking, Walking Dead. I gotta lie, I, I'm not gonna lie. I stopped watching it after this season. Like I, at the beginning of the season, I just I couldn't do it anymore. It's too slow, drawn out. Nothing happens at the end of the episode. They're like oh, something happens, and then I said, "Up oh, there goes Ronnie Harrison." 
you're asking about him before he would have been a nice safety, but again, I, I don't know about third. Do I like the Browns taking Mayfield? I think it's a really, really big risk that you had a choice of the best QBs in the draft and you went with Mayfield for your number one. I don't know about that because here's the thing. If I'm the, if night RTV, um, I think if I have, if I'm the Browns, I pick up Barkley then first, if you want Mayfield, I don't think he's going two or three. I think he would still be there. Yeah. I'll be streaming here tomorrow. Tom versus Tom who wins. Is that even a question? I would destroy that terribly groomed bearded man. The Bears are a threat. I think the Bears are getting there. The Vikings traded down. <laughs> they did. I know they wanted Denzel. Do I do review videos for shows or movies? Uh, yeah, Game of Thrones. I do Game of Toms. I do. So next year. Yeah, the QBs weren't like entirely impressive. I think all of them had their flaws, but... Yeah, I think fourth and fifth, we'll get it our blitzers. We'll get it. Vice principals, you're talking about like the HBO show? That's good. The Jaguars have been scary, man. They've been building their team for the draft for years, and that defense is terrifying. It's just their offense needs to catch up. Obviously, Fournette really helped them with that, um, but Blake Bortles has kind of held them back a little bit. They also don't really have wide receivers now anymore. Listen, no Vikings. Ain't going to be no Tome. You can be hiding. <laughs> Cross your reaction to the Vikings trading down. Apparently he's on Instagram, so that's the only way I know how to reach him. I wonder what the Vikings got. Burks, his visit cemented what we were thinking about him. We think with some of the packages, Petten has helped us in pass rush. All right. Okay. Yep, it's still going on, McGrath. We keep on going. Kirk Cousins is going to throw five interceptions to Jackson. That'd be amazing. That'd be wonderful. Who do I think Mr. Irrelevant is going to be? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm going to pretend I know. I have no idea. Rodgers or Favre? Who do I want on my team? Rodgers. Who do I like? Rodgers I love watching because like it's just amazing what he can do and like the way that he gets out of the pocket and the Hail Marys. That's great. Favre just looked really like he was having a great time. Uh, Oren Burks, again, all over the field, fast guy, bit of a reach still. Milkman, you going to sleep? Night, bud. Who do you think we play against in the Super Bowl this year? I just want that Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers thing, and I want to retire him. <laughs> Far to party with, yeah. Cousins in a Vikes uniform doesn't bother me. Again, I... I I understand why Kirk Cousins got so much money, but I don't think he's worth $84 million. It ain't happening. We traded up. Uh, we traded up for 101 and 147 to get into the third round. Cousins is overpaid, and that's guaranteed money. I think that's insane. Oh, we got like six packs. There's six picks left. It'll be worth the money when we win the NFC North, Tom. All right. We'll see. Cousins and New Cutler. I'm good with that. Can we actually just re start referring to him as Kirk Cutler? Jay, go back, go. Night, bud. Yeah, the Vikings are going to, in a couple years, like within the next few years, they got some uh, they got some bills they need to pay. So it's going to be tough paying those bills when you had to pay $84 million. 
Kirk Cutler. Let's do it. <laughs> Pass rusher. He's fast. Um, he's not. He's not a pure pass rusher, and that's what I was saying before. Is like I wish we got a pure pass rusher, but he's uh, he's all over the field. He can play a bunch of different positions, and I'm sure Petten can do some things with him. Um, but he's got some tackles for losses, and he seems to be at least getting the tackles done. I think he had like 80 something tackles last year. I think Josh, to, to answer your questions, I think um, I think Jackson has the potential to be a superstar. Two highest paid QBs in the NFL are facing against each other in week one. Yep. Where is Griffith going to go? I don't know, man. If he survives the third round, like if he gets out of the third round, I think, uh, I think he'll, he'll go into the fourth. Oh, you said Kirk Cutler, Dizzle McNizzle. Sorry, man. Yes, you're good. Tom, my hippie. Nah. But what do you define as a hippie? I mean, I kind of went to a hippie school, but. <laughs> exactly. Rogers will get paid. He definitely will get paid. Hope Aaron can be smart like Brady. Yeah. He'll get the money that he needs. He'll stay. I'm not worried about it. What did we trade? Can I tell you facts? Do it. We traded 101 and 147 picks. I don't know what you're talking about, Tom. <laughs> Sexy, but Tom got the beard. Yeah, I actually shaved today. What's our next pick? Uh, it's another one in the fourth round, 133. Our first two picks I'm very happy with. Third one we could have waited, I think. Stroke my beard in pride. <laughs> Shave it off, you monster. Milkman doesn't die. <laughs> He just wakes up in the middle of the night and just starts going. No, man, I, I'm not going to lie. I probably didn't see him. Vikings traded down. Here to Bills. Josh Island and Alexander Island. I like it. I wonder what Tom would look like with a beard and a purple dress shirt. Gross. I don't even want to imagine what that would look like. Who has won the draft, in your opinion? The Bears have had a good draft, um, but the Cardinals have also done really, really well. I've been pretty impressed with how they've been picking. <laughs> this is interesting. The Bills. Remember a few years ago when the Bills defense was like incredible? That was uh I like if they had that offense, that would have they would have been amazing. Never got it though. What is happening with spellings of names? Tom, Tom, bye Tom. Milkman, you actually going to sleep now? I can't compare Thompson and Goot right now. I just like the way that Goody McGutenser is being aggressive. But you know, at the same time. Uh, you know, Ted Thompson did trade usually just down Dizzle. You need sleep. Trust me. I'm fully aware. No, I actually took off from work today. I haven't taken a personal day all year. I took off because I was up till three o'clock in the morning doing this podcast. And then, uh, and then I woke up and did the, and then went to go see infinity war. We could sign Reed. No, I don't watch hentai. <laughs> Have I been here longer than Dizzle and Milkman on the stream or as a as a member of uh, the Grassy Posse Packer Nation? Oh man, this fan. This guy must be living the dream. How 
how great would it be if that fan just went off script and just like made up an anime like a, a name that he wanted <laughs> he's like we get griffin we out we get aaron Rodgers." Um, your channel is going to have to migrate to a different video thing once YouTube crashes and burns in five years. Five years? You're giving it that long, huh? Do I have a Super Bowl hat? Yes, I do. I actually have two Super Bowl hats. Uh, let's see. I have the old one when they won against the Patriots, and then right next to it, I have when they beat the Steelers. I actually do have a sexy cheese hat on the wall. It is just over on the other side of the room. Vikings got the Bucks' fourth and sixth round pick. I don't know. You happy about that? Yeah, Bills are Bills are definitely they're pretty damn loyal, just like the Browns. Oh, sorry. It's Cobb. Got a good old Cobb jersey on. Yeah, you get an extra pick. I mean, like, but that's the thing though. You got your offensive lineman. Tom, ask who was even alive during the 96 Super Bowl. I can't because I mean, technically I was six, so I really, I, I wasn't even watching then. I started watching in 97. Oh, Bubba Franks. Oh, I love me some Bubba Franks. I used to play him in the old Maddens too, like Madden 95. Oh, that was great. Can you eat an udder? No, I can't. Sorry. Yeah, Josh Jackson. Yeah, I am a baby. Yeah, I was, I know it does, this doesn't look like it. This is what happens when you, uh podcast so freaking midnight every night guys autograph that's awesome i've heard nothing but good things about bubba franks is pet and mccarthy's eventual replacement no i don't think so i don't think so at all bernard you're the man alexander or jackson jackson has more of an upside but alexander might be more ready um i, I feel like alexander's a safer pick Jackson again, more upside. Tom, have you been to hell? Most certainly, yes. <laughs> How do I feel about the latest pick, Gavin? Again, uh, I think it was a bit of a reach, but it fulfills a need. Oh, man. Can McCarthy buy a sport coat that fits? I don't know if he can. He is a, he's a nice guy, though. Has anyone asked for my autograph? Yes. Uh, it shows. After, usually after my set, people will come up. You got Sterling Sharp's autograph. That's awesome. Yes, we did pick. We got Oren Burks. I had him again for the fifth. We drafted a new head coach. Danny, I mean, like, I know that McCarthy has to perform this year. Or it's, and, I, and I think that McCarthy's play calling has screwed the Packers a couple times, but I, I think he's a damn good coach. I do. I think he's a good coach. I think McCarthy will get fired if, if we don't make the playoffs this year. I think we will make the playoffs because of uh, Aaron Rodgers. I think Aaron Rodgers has helped McCarthy a lot. But, you know. I said what I think about the third pick. Burks, a bit of a reach, but we got our pass rusher. I wish he was more of a dedicated pass rusher. He's a fast guy, so I'm happy about that. Nice, signed by the 2017 Packers. That's awesome. How do we get to your comedy shows? Well, right now I'm just doing mostly stuff in New York. Um, Milk, you actually leaving this time? If so, good night. Um, how do you get to your comedy shows? Well, again, like it's one of those things where you have to either request it or I have to book something that's away from New York, but it just has to be worth it. I'm not, I'm not upset about Jeff Janis, to be honest. What I think about the draft so far, I'm happy about our draft. Um, this has been good. The problem is just like, this is such a long, long process. I think this is the first time I've actually watched the entirety of the draft so far. Yeah. How are the bugs in the crawl space? I don't know. I ain't going in there. Our economy is exactly like McCrake. It inflates every year. <laughs> That's just mean. That's so mean. Are you feeling better or worse about the opening against the bears? I'm feeling better. I, I think we'll beat the bears. I'm good. About how far ago did you react to the last pick? Within the last, I want to say, 10, 15 minutes. 
I think Montgomery is going to go back to wide receiver. I think I teach social studies. Who's my favorite stand-up of all time? Yeah, we Rain, you did miss something. We traded up. We got Oren Burks. Bit of a reach, but we got him. Who's my favorite stand-up of all time? Um, I mean Pryor is up there, obviously. He's great. Um that's tough because like I love Jim Carrey, but his stand-up really wasn't that great. That's tough. He's like my favorite comedian, though. What is this Cardinals guy doing? Who's my favorite rapper? You, Milkman, because you've been dropping those sweet, sweet rhymes all night. Tom, what would you do if Rogers grew a beard like Tomes? As long as it didn't interfere with his football arm, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm too young for prior, but I can respect the game. Uh, Dizzle, can you give me uh, a link to your best comedy video? Uh, I actually... I'm, Currently, that's on top of everything else. I'm editing. I recorded my comedy album last month, and so that'll be coming out in August, and I will send you all a link. I'll let you know. I'll, I'll announce it to the channel when it comes out. It came out great. I'm really excited about it. I look like Jim Carrey. I've gotten that ever since I was in fifth grade. Vikings, yes. How much do you hate the Vikings? A fair amount. But it, it, it is a it is a, at least friendly competition. But yeah. Did I get a chance to look at any Oren Burke's film? I looked at his film beforehand because I had him in our seven round mock. Um, so um, I, I just wish we didn't pick him so early. Uh, what am I more excited for preseason or draft? That's a great question. I feel like draft is actually a little bit more exciting, but preseason is more exciting to actually watch. Am I surprised that they haven't come to a contract? No, not yet. They will. It's fine. Yeah, Oren Burks. Are you still doing the Tales from the Classroom thing? Oh, someone remembered. <laughs> yes, I am. I am. It's just has been tough. TBZ, man. Good night, man. Thanks for joining. Um, yes, I am doing Tales from the Classroom. That got backed up because of the album taping, which kind of took over my life for a bit. I've been editing that. It's taken about 10 hours out of my life doing that. So yes, I haven't forgotten about that after a draft. Like we'll, we'll do some other stuff, but then, you know, we'll, we'll take a little bit of a break. Yeah. Rambo or in Burks. He's very, very fast. Yes. I won't leave until you open the crawl space. I did open the crawl space before. Andrew, night, bud. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Will Hernandez? Yeah. I thought we were never going to go that high. You want me to open it again? Is, is dark and scary in there? I don't really want to open it again. <laughs> My reaction to trading with him. <laughs> you like that, huh? That was great. Hunter, yeah, Oren Burks. Again, he's a quick guy. He's all over the field. He's been moved in a bunch of different positions. I think he's a bit of a reach, but there's your uh, there's your pass rusher. What's your video schedule for the season? Want to know when to watch? When during the regular season? All right, Milkman. Good night. Thanks for coming, bud. <laughs> Filipino. Thanks, bud. Good night. Um, video schedule. So I do an episode after every single game. And then if there's any break news, I'll do something in the middle of the week. And then Thursdays, I always release the episode where I interview fans from the opposing teams. Yeah. What will you do once the draft is over? Cry and sleep. Um, Tom's in there with his Tom. There's no way that Tom's living in my crawl space. It's just too, it's too scary. Well, I do once the draft is over. I'm going to actually do some interviews. I'm going to bring some people on from the NFC North. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how that plays out. And then I'll probably take a little bit of a break and then do another podcast. <laughs> oh, Sam's still here. Arden Key. Yeah, I'm not surprised.
Did I grow up in Wisconsin? Nope. Always lived in New York. But I love visiting Wisconsin. Yeah, these fans. <laughs> I'm excited for tomorrow, too. We're going to be picking all day, every day. Thanks, Dizzle. I appreciate that. How can we listen to the interviews? Well, I mean, I put them all on YouTube now. All of last seasons, all of those were on YouTube. If you want to go listen before that, though, like if you want to listen to the first two seasons, like the Mike Mark Murphy interviews there, and there's some other really good ones, um, SoundCloud and iTunes and Google Play Music, they're on there. Last pick that I can watch you sleep at. It's horrifying. It's horrifying. <laughs> oh, God. I love how creepy you are. <laughs> SoundCloud link. It's PatCast. Boom. I'd be happy with at least another pass rusher. Yeah. It's on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music. Say it at the end. Oren Burks sure does help. Uh, Oren Burks, again, I think it was a bit of a reach, but he fulfills a need. Um, I would just rather us getting a dedicated pass rusher earlier. I trust Kevin King. How many picks we got tomorrow? What did I say? We got seven left. One fourth, three fifths, one sixth, three seventh. Casey Hayward, yeah. I think we'll get a wide receiver tomorrow. I've never been to Cincinnati. I've been to Ohio, but I haven't been specifically to Cincinnati, so I could not say. Yeah, I, I love hats. I don't really wear them, though. Not often. If Rogers tried to kiss you, would you pull away or let him give it? I mean, like, you know that answer. That's fine. Just don't tell my wife. <laughs> Actually, my wife already knows. It's fine. <laughs> Tell him to a pit of misery. Dilly, dilly. Oh, no. Please hold. My file has just, like, died. Ooh. It's just me. Nope, it's just me. <laughs> my, my TV actually turned itself off because it was been on for like four straight hours. That'll do it. I love the way that the new secondaries, I think they're going to do really well under Petten. I think that they definitely will. I'm very happy about it. Sorry, Dylan. Just me. Ah, oh, the final pick of the third round. Praise me. Griffin still didn't get picked, huh? Huh? Nice. Rogers has 5,000. That'd be great. We have Kaiser. <laughs> you think we'll have a top 10 defense? I think it's possible. But considering how bad we were last year, I would settle for a top 15. <laughs> so. All right, kids. I, uh, I'm... I'm going to, I would say I'm going to sleep, but I'm not because I'm going to do a Josh Jackson video and I'm going to do an Oren Burks video. So uh, I'll post probably both of them tonight. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate that. You can always find me at tomgrassycomedy.com. You know, all that wonderful stuff. You know, if you're watching, you know. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Why not two in one? Because people like to watch the individual ones. I've gotten crap about that before. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grassi, and as always, go pack. <laughs>